Hey y'all, what's up? It's I'm here another YouTube video today. Today's video is going to be about a man who stuffs a child in a dryer and a washing machine also. Now this was in Alabama. Now it does say he has a child around the age of three. They didn't say if it was his child or not. But the child he was doing this to was under six. So it is believed to be his child. That's just what I'm thinking. Now, it says he pinned the door shut with a chair between May 2017 and May of 2018. Now, this went unreported until September of 2018. Now, he was arrested. And the next day, he got out of jail on a $20,000 bond. Like I said before, how do these people get bonds? Like I said, we don't know who these people know what they do for a living, you know, who knows. And, you know, $20,000, that's, that's a pretty good bit of money. And yet, this person physically abused the child and mentally abused the child. And he gets out. He didn't even spend a whole day in jail. And he's already out on a $20,000 bond. Stuff like this, shouldn't have bonds, you know, that's just ridiculous, I don't understand how people who assault child get bond, people who sexually assault child get bond, uh, murderers get bonds, kidnappers get bonds, you know, rapists get bonds, drug dealers get bonds, really, if you are in jail, you, why should you have a bond, you obviously have done something wrong, and you're in jail for a reason, whether you assaulted somebody or you were drunk driving or you killed somebody. You were in jail for a reason. Why Why should you have a chance to get out? I mean, you're like I said, you're in jail for a reason. You should not have a chance to get out. You know, this whole bond and bail thing is ridiculous. I mean... I, I don't get how people like this even get a chance to get out of jail. $20,000 and he's out. And you know, another thing with bonds. Okay, well, you can, they can say, oh yeah, I'm going to come back. I'm going to show up to court. Okay, people say things all the time. But do you really think if you arrest a gang member for drug charges, he posts bail. You really think he's just going to show up to court willingly? No, he's not. I mean, that's stupid. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, if you agree with me or disagree with me. And let me know what you guys think.